Well, hey there, everybody. Welcome back to another edition of the Forex Market Preview. My name is Jason Stapleton. No camera up today. Unfortunately, I had a little hiccup with my camera today. I'm getting some weird audio noise out of the recording or out of my computer, so I just decided, ah, what the hey. I'll just come in here and uh, and do a little chart action the way we used to do it all oh so many years ago. And sometimes when I'm on the road, I do it this way too, just to kind of save myself a little bit of time and effort through uh, without doing all the video production that we go into. But today, I promised you guys last week that I was going to show you something that was pretty doggone stinking amazing. And I want to take time to do that here today and, and kind of explain a little bit about what we've been working on. We have been putting together for the last year or so a, a very new way of looking at the market. And one of the things that we try and do is in our research and development and the stuff we're trying to do is, is because I work with traders all the time, because we're so intimately involved with their, their training and their education in things like technical analysis and, and trading psychology and, and, you know, trade plan development and pattern recognition and how your eye perceives information and all this different type of stuff. We have become very adept at, at creating methodologies and strategies that are designed to help remove some of the biggest hurdle, hurdles for traders while at the same time still teaching them skill set. Because one of the problems that we run into is we don't want to create something that's totally automated that you just turn it on and let it play. That's fine for certain areas, but what we find is that most, most traders aren't competent enough to do that type of stuff because it requires a, I mean, in reality, turning something on and letting it run doesn't really work. You can't just turn it on and let it run. You got to turn it on and then constantly monitor it to make sure that the doggone computer doesn't shut down or you don't get a fritz or, you know, a false entry or, or something like that. So uh, set it and forget it is not a reality in our world. However, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. And secondly, the reason that we don't want to do that is it doesn't really teach skill set. Uh, what we want to do is, and you at the end of the day, I, I got to believe that the reason that you're here is because you really want to learn how to trade. And unfortunately, when you get into these automated strategies that, you know, even if they work, they don't teach you anything, which means they'll only work as long as the strategy works, which means you're never really free. You can't ever really break away. You're always going to de be dependent upon someone else for some aspect of, of your living because you didn't create it on your own. You don't understand how it works and you don't, you haven't grasped the core principles of trading that are necessary in order for you to be successful long term. So, we have dedicated ourselves largely to to the task of training and building consistently profitable traders. And we do that through a variety of methods for those of you who, or this is the first time you're watching, one of which is uh, is through education. So we teach things, teach people how to do technical analysis. The Forex Market Preview is really nothing more than me coming in, showing you some trades and kind of explaining to you why I'm doing that. And we also do it through, uh, through concepts or ideas and through systems and strategies. And, uh, and systems and strategies is what I'm going to kind of talk about today. So a system is, is not the be-all, end-all. It is not the holy grail that you should be looking for, that perfect system that's going to work just right. What you should be looking for is something that has a positive expectancy, something that kind of fits into your, into your framework of how you, how you like to trade or what you're comfortable with, because comfort is a big deal. If you can make money as a counter-trend trader, but you absolutely hate taking trades against the trend, well, that's a bit of a problem because you're going to have trouble following and it goes to all the trading psychology things that we discuss day in and day out. There are, there are just a host of problems with you trading outside of something that's not really in your core comfort zone. So um, those are some of the things that, that we think about and we try to, to do around here in the creation of our strategies and in the creation of the concepts and ideas that we work with. And Todd, of course, my business partner, is the guy who handles all of the uh, all of the the coding, all of the strategy development stuff that we do, he is just a, just a phenomenal individual when it comes to creating this type of stuff. And and we have he has been working on something for the past year. And to kind of orientate you, orient you, orientate you to this concept, I want you to think about how we kind of view markets. 
You know, there's a lot of different ways that we can look at what's happened in a market. We can look at simple end of day data on a spreadsheet that has open, high, low, close, and that just lists that out for every single currency pair or every single stock that we look at. And although that's absolutely a, a very straightforward way of seeing exactly what happened over the course of the day, over the course of an hour, or over the course of a minute uh, of looking at data, it's it doesn't really you don't your your mind really can't wrap your head around exactly what happened or it becomes uh, very difficult to do that. Much easier to take that open high low close daily data and put it into something like a can uh, like a candlestick chart. And that candlestick chart shows you at you know in in a quick minute at the glance exactly what the market has done and where it's gone. We can also try and uh, but this this gives us some problems as well in, in the sense that it gets to be kind of ugly because when there's not a lot of market activity, when there's not a lot of stuff going on, especially if we go down to, say, uh, let's go down to a 15 minute, let's just go down five minute chart, okay, make it real easy. And we're going to look at some of the period um, between, you know, right in here. So here's an area where the market came in and for several hours from about 4.30 to about 6.30, you know, my time, really did nothing. Just totally traded sideways, didn't really, had no up or down movement. It was, it, largely we see this in the Asia session a lot is where currencies kind of just drift sideways. Maybe they'll get a little move, but then they'll come back and they always, they tend to end up kind of where they started and there's not a lot happens in there. So these are areas where timed based charting really doesn't do justice and it, it kind of messes with the structure. And for those of us who are watching structure, this becomes a real headache for us. So we flip over and we look at something like, uh, here. here's Ranko bars, right? I was going to grab range bars here. Let me just see if I've got, mm, well, my Haikanashi line area. Eh, we'll, just, we'll do this. So now you've got Ranko bars, which give you a little bit of a, a different view on the market. And certainly you can see there's a whole lot more here in terms of back and forth and things that your eye can recognize, these moves that occur. You see how... This is the same period of time that I had highlighted before, but in this one, we just see straight upward movement because this is not a time-based chart. It's not, it has nothing to do with time. It has to do with movement in the market. Likewise, you can move to something like a point and figure chart. And don't even ask me about this because I don't even understand how it works. I've never studied point and figure enough to take a really clear view of exactly what it is and, and how to utilize it. It just seemed very confusing to me. But this is, of course, just another way to look at data on a chart. And lots of people use this successfully. It's it's something that anybody can use. Um, you've got Kaji charts that you can use, which apparently you're not going to work on this time frame. Um, line break charts. So these are, uh, without going into it, it, you know, a line break chart is, is just another form, of, a non-time-based method for looking at movement in the market. But all of these have they have pros and cons with them, and none of them really provide the type of structure that we were looking for. What we wanted to create was we wanted to create something that was totally clear, that identified trend and really helped you get on board something, and more importantly, to stick with it. So that you knew, oh, no, no, this is we're still good here. We just need to continue to hold on to this position. As these rallies occur... We just need to continue to hold that down position because the market is still bearish. And so based on all of this, we, we, we came up with a couple of concepts, and I want to show you this is, the, this is the afternoon session on Friday for the euro dollar. It's on a one-minute chart, and you can see from about uh, 1 p.m. Uh, you know, central time to when the market closed at about 4, you can see this is what happened. We had some, you know, a little pop, and then a retracement, then this area where the market does nothing sideways, and we get another pop, retest into structure. Then we get this massive move down, only to see a massive recovery, and the market trades sideways, and then a big pop towards the end of the day, right? And we're trying to teach people how to read structure. 
and how to how to find the trend and how to stick with the trend and how to find that level where you know where you're supposed to buy how to find the reversals where the market pulls back and where it's going to give you the primo spot to get long or get short and these type of charts uh, candlestick charts can be confusing and can be frustrating they take a lot of time and effort and energy to to really understand and to see what's happening so we decided to do something a little different we invented this this is what is called we're, this this is called project 221 it's something that we've been working on in the office like i said for over a year this is the same period of time that you just looked at on the euro usd from about three o'clock or i'm sorry about one o'clock in the afternoon till about four o'clock in the afternoon this is the afternoon session on the euro usd these are what we call brick wick bars and i'll explain a little bit about what they are i'm not going to get i'm already been talking about this for 11 minutes now so i don't want to spend a whole lot more time on this but which one would you rather do which one would you rather use would you rather use a chart like this in order to try and figure out when you should be getting long or when you're getting short or would you rather have something like this this is a block based chart that basically and if, if I zoom in here you kind of kind of zoom in to see exactly what I'm talking about here but for example this last run from about 15 uh, from about three o'clock to about four o'clock this is about an hour run and you can see the reversal that happened and then the sharp move upwards and what you're seeing in here if I kind of fatten this up you see this black line in between the candle that is formed up here that's actually price action so as you can see we went from oh right in here let me grab my uh, crosshairs here we went from about oh 24 46s all the way up to 24 48s without even a pullback it just went straight there then we get a little pullback then the market takes off again then we get a pullback here the market takes off again and we see it rallies all the way from 24 48 see we get a little deep pretty deep pullback in here another nice deep pullback here and then the market rallies all the way up to close almost on the high at 2460s and guys these can be set to basically any any bar length any uh, any distant moves and there are a, a multitude of trading strategies that we can devise out of this and we're working we've developed three of them all of them are automated so it basically puts you in the position and puts your protective stop on and then uh and then uh, if my understanding is correct from what i've seen of uh, from what todd has shown me also places the target points on there at least the initial target and then it's your job to, ma to manage the trade or manage the positions but just look at this look at how easy it is you want to trade a pullback boom a pullback into a huge downward move nice little uptrend nice little downtrend every little move in the market you never miss a trend with this and more importantly your eye look at how appealing it is to the eye how do you know when you're supposed to get out well if i'm if i'm blue i want to maintain that long position these nice nice deep pullbacks give me areas to look to get long and to do so with re relatively little risk same thing back here these nice deep pullbacks here outside of the candle give me a nice area to look to get short for a follow-on trend all the way down the line there are there are like i said we've got trend continuation trades we've got uh we've got breakout trades and we've got uh, reversal trades all built into this new strategy and what's essentially a brand new way of looking at the market and we're very very excited about this i i cannot wait to release this to you we're still working on it we're working out all the final bugs you guys know how it works around here we want to make sure that what we deliver is of the highest quality and so we're in the process of finishing up our beta testing all of the members of our team have this now we've all been playing with it i've been showing it to the guys in my syndicate group and this is going to be coming it'll be out next year so you know i'll be keeping you up to date as more comes along but that we're at a stage now where we know this works we've seen the initial uh the initial back testing results from the strategies that we've developed and guys it looks great i'm very very excited about this um i don't i don't normally use systems uh it is my plan to actually start implementing this i i, I absolutely love 
this trading strategy and this this form of looking at the market it just provides you so much confidence that you're doing the right thing that you're staying you're on the right track and so i just as i promised i told you i would show it to you today so again all you got to do is ask yourself a simple question would i rather trade this or would i rather trade this and virtually everyone we talk to, everyone we show it to, well, it's, it, but there's a no-brainer. I want to I trade the one that shows me clearly where the trend is. So, guys, it'll be, this will be out later on, and, uh, and so fulfilling my obligation to you, I have now shown it to you. But let's take a look around the market here today and talk a little bit about what could potentially be happening here today. And I'm going to go through this rather quickly because we don't have a lot of time yet uh, left. But let me clone this line up. We have not quite ABCD down into the support level here, but we are trading Aussie dollar against a shelf. And so a pretty good trading strategy for this is to actually wait for, this is what we, we would call a favorable excursion trade, which I haven't actually, I've got to do a, a webinar where we actually teach this strategy because I haven't actually taught this to you guys. Um where we wait for the market to rally, break above, close above, or break above this level. We don't have to get a close above, but a break above this high, signifying a shift in trend or a change in trend, and then try and hop on the the break, which is essentially a breakout run for you know to the north as this market reverses. So that's one option for tomorrow key or this week. Keep an eye on that. I've got uh, pattern trades in here as well. Let me see. Let me go back to it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This one here, we have a... No, never mind. Don't worry about that. Sorry, guys. I normally write these things down. I just haven't today. Um, Euro pound out on the daily chart. Potential cipher pattern setting up. A rally back up into 79.94s is going to be a key selling point. Look for that. Uh, that mar that could absolutely potentially happen next week. So keep an eye out for that. As we talked about yesterday, Euro Aussie. We made a, a really nice profit on Euro Aussie yesterday, or I'm sorry, this week in the syndicate. And now what we're looking for is the market's actually trading outside of kind of this little support and resistance level we identified. But when we drop down to the hourly chart. What you're going to see is, see this market spiked up real big and then reversed. We ended up selling into that, made a nice profit off of it in uh, in the in War Room this week. The highs that that spiked up into 5118s. The market has yet to close above that, and we came in and we retested the highs into the end of end of yesterday. I'm sorry, the end of Friday. What I would watch for is any type of break of structure here. Okay. Because in looking out on the daily chart, we are we're into a, a pretty significant overbought condition at about 86. Going back down to the hourly time frame, a press below or a break below that little level is probably going to send us back down into 149.64s. And so for those of you guys who are looking for a quick intraday pop, that'll that may that could potentially give you about 40 pips, and that could happen as early as you know Asia into the start of the London session. So just keep an eye out for that into this week and then last but not least something else in here while i was looking at it. aussie cad um god what was i looking at before was it aussie yen yeah there it was so aussie yen we talked about this was something this was a something we had discussed i can't remember if i discussed it with you guys i definitely talked about it with the war room with the syndicate guys the breakout trade the consolidation that existed here and I identified the breakout trade and told everybody where to short. Market did exactly that. Came all the way down. Now we're sitting at an area. Grab my Fibonacci retracement tool here. Let me check this. No, we don't quite have it. Um, almost had a uh, uh, had a bat pattern here, but it, the the ratios don't quite line up. So this is a good example of a beautiful breakout trade on the hourly time frame market consolidating then breaking out it's a perfect area to do one of those what we did what i told them was i said here's what you look for 
you find the lows that come in here around 99.91s. You go a couple of pips under that, 99.87s, and you wait for the market and you put a sell stop order at 87. And I said, when it hits 87, it'll get you short. A sell stop order will get you short at 99.87s. And I said, that's your mark. And what happened? We actually hit that. We rallied back up into this support level here. And then, boom, the market rolled over. Get a little pop. Couldn't go anywhere. We drop another leg. And now we're kind of sitting at a potential support level. And we're just going to have to wait and see what happens with it. But anyway, that's going to be it for this week, guys. I appreciate you being here. Questions, comments, concerns, you can email support at tradeempower.com. And, uh, and until, until later, guys, good luck, good trading. See you next week.